Hi, I'm David Lee. I'm a nutritionist and trainer and a herbalist for the last 25 years. And today we're going to talk about gastric peristalsis function being weak. And one way of looking at this is using my quantum resonance device, which scans people's um, bodies, and I can actually see the readings on their digestive tract. Um, now, I also look at people's hormonal assessments as well as their intake, uh, health intake sheet, health history, as well as what they eat. And I look at all that as well as we do our scan. So as you can see, um, this is what the quantum resonance scan looks like for the, for the uh, gastrointestinal area of the body. And uh, in this particular case, this particular client has a low, weak gastric peristalsis function. I know this client, I'm actually working with them. And I can actually, I know for a fact that they have issues with their digestion and you can see this. And so to get more information, you can go to my ebook section, which talks about gastric peristalsis function coefficient. And this is where uh, the gastric peristalsis grinds the food for further processing as well as the role of gastric juice to make food into gruel or kind of gym. It takes about three to four hours for this grinding and this digestion to occur. And the low reading can indicate the client has poor digestion, not enough fiber, not enough exercise, and is not drinking enough water. And they're not getting enough raw vegetables and whole grains. So these are all things that can help with this gastric peristalsis function being low. So that is another um, quick sort of lesson on how to be able to read a uh, certain result um, from the scan of people's digestive issues. So if you're interested in being able to learn more and really learn on how to do proper assessments of people, um, you're welcome to click the link below and get more detail on my online uh, quantum resonance course that we've launched the, uh, this year and um, get more information on that. Anyway, so that's the lesson on gastric peristalsis function coefficient.